Welcome back. So if you want to take something that looks like this and create something that looks like this, stick around. Um, this is an extremely easy photograph to pull off. The photography gear you need is, is very minimal. You essentially need a little light pin and a camera that you can do a manual exposure for 30 seconds. That's it. The lighting is super simple. Short video, probably five to 10 minutes set up. I'll walk you through everything that you need. So the actual, the, I guess what you need for this photograph is a vase, flower, dark cloth, pink background, which we'll talk about the colors in a moment. And then we have some plexiglass. We have some shower door glass that makes things blurry or pixelated that kind of gives it that mystery look. That being said, you know, we're using pink. We might, if we have time, swap out to a different color, but the colors really are your, cho your choice. What's your color scheme of your house? Now I could see this doing some of these photographs in a three set going down, going down the hallway or going down steps, um, digital canvas, maybe one across the fireplace. Obviously, you know, you have cell phones, screen savers, all that digital stuff. You can, you can do that as well. But yeah, let's get into this. I'm gonna walk you through the in detail camera settings and let's see what we can come up with. Before we get started, let's look at the actual setup. So we have the camera and portrait mode. We'll get into the settings in a moment. This is the shower door glass. This has been retired. It's got a, you know, it's very well weathered. It's been sitting out in the garage for over a year, but I knew I wanted to use it for something. Kind of come up there. If we look behind the glass, um, we just have a simple uh, pink flower along with the vase, some, some dark cloth here as well. And then we have the pink backdrop a little bit. So we're going to essentially highlight this along with this, then hit the pink as well. And it's a 30 second exposure comes out really nice. Now here's the situation. Um, if you want to set this up, you want to do some different things as far as move the flower a little bit closer. So you get a little bit better view of the flower through that. Or if you want to make it a little bit blurrier, you move it back. So it's just that kind of artistic flair, whatever you guys want to use, however you guys want to do this, that's, that's what we're looking for. Anyway, we're going to get the lights shut off and I'll get you in the camera. Okay. Essentially what we need to do first is establish a baseline of where our light is at in, in the settings. So let's say this is about as dark as I can work in. And let's say we have an ISO of, I don't know, 800 or something, 1250. Okay. Now you kind of see things coming through because it's got a preview, but a lot of cameras don't. And if you take the photo, it's a 30 second exposure at 1250 ISO. What this is going to do is going to show us that there's a lot of ambient light still around in this room even though it's very dark with ISO 1250 and F20, you can see that it, it's going to come out fairly, um, I won't say bright, but we have a lot of extra light actually competing for the photograph. And that's where you get the baseline. Whenever you're doing any kind of studio work, you want to get a baseline to make sure none of this surrounding light is affecting this. So essentially what we want, this is a 30 second exposure. And look at that, that that's ambient light in this. We haven't done any light painting, what I call light painting with the, the, the um, flashlight. So what we need to do is lower the, lower, lower the shutter speed, or I'm sorry, lower the ISO. Let's go all the way down to like 25. And I think I mentioned most cameras will probably be set at ISO 100 or I don't know, 200. This camera has an ISO of 25. The other way we can do things is set the f-stop. We can go up and back and down. So if you see that, we're going up and down. So f2.8, you'll see that the light's coming through. You want to darken it up. So let's go f20 just to be safe. 30 second exposure. That's what we want. That should be enough time to get this done. Let's take the photo and see what happens here. Again, we're, this should be almost completely dark. Um, and with that, should give us a good baseline. This is where we can actually start our light painting. 
we know that there's no other light interfering with our subject, illuminating it, and, and I guess exposing things we do not want to expose. And Okay, that is it. See, completely black. That's what you want. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Let's, let's get into this and we'll try our first exposure. All right, so we're going to start our exposure. All right, starts 30 seconds. You got to get it time, kind of timed in your head and you get a little bit of the flower, a little around it. And you'll get a timer in your head of how this will take, how much this will take. And let's go against the pink. And I'll show you the expose here in a second. I'll listen for it to end. About right now. There it goes. Okay. Here is what this one looked like. Bring it over. And that's kind of what it looks like there. So you have to go ahead and play with this and see how it works out. Get the, get you know, you get a 30 second timer. I should have exposed a little bit more on the pink, a little bit down more. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this a couple more times. All right. 30 second exposure is on. Get the front of that a little bit. Might be too close to the glass. We're gonna try, we're gonna see what happens. Get that top down look. And now we're gonna go for the pink. We're gonna work this on down. Kind of waiting to hear the exposure give up. And there it goes. See what we have. Yeah, interesting. Check this out, guys. I'll zoom in. So it's really just a matter of playing with it, seeing how much, uh, seeing which one to make out of it. But, yeah, we're back. If this is your first long exposure, um, yeah, it's, it's going to take a little bit of work. But once you get used to it, it's a skill you build up over time. A timer in your head, knowing the f-stop and the aperture, knowing where all this is at to, to kind of negotiate that exposure. Really, the first thing that you got to get into is getting that pure black exposure, that, that baseline. And that's what we showed you in the very beginning where everything was pretty much pitch black in the exposure. So you had no ambient light, nothing competing, exposing your, your photo at all. And then you can bring in, second time, you can bring in the flashlight, your pen light to actually start exposing. And that's what you want to get into. It takes time. You're going to fail dozens of times, but it's actually fun. You, you get a lot better. You realize one part you overexposed, the other part you underexposed. And it's, it's definitely a skill. So I'm going to leave you with the photo that I like the best out of this. And if you like this stuff, you know what to do. Hopefully I'll see you guys next week.